There's no commonly accepted definition of what is clean energy, and this is a huge challenge in the ESG space right now. Some places include it, some people, uh, places exclude it. In Europe, this is a huge debate whether they should be including um, nuclear in their sustainable development activities. The big thing is never to look at any energy resource in isolation. You need to do it comparatively. And on that measure, nuclear is ideal from an air pollution perspective. During operations, it does not emit carbon. It does not emit any sort of air pollutants, so it's not a direct uh, risk to human health. Uh, uh, there are three kind of areas that I think it could be uh, a relative concern from an ESG perspective. One, conventional nuclear facilities use a lot of water. Uh, they have, they're some of the largest uh, facilities that we have in the power sector, so they will draw a lot of water. As we look forward on the climate side, that could be an issue. Um, two, there's radiological safety concerns, which are largely mitigated. I mean, the industry is probably the safest industry in the country. It's ingrained into the uh, the, the ethos of the industry. Uh, and so that's something that is, it's something that people are concerned about, but it doesn't actually really have a real world impact just because the industry does run well. And then finally, I think just the uh, lingering questions related to uh, spent nuclear fuel or nuclear waste and then also mining. And I think those last ones are really the area where that is where a lot of concerns and a lot of environmental justice questions were raised. A lot of that is actually not based on commercial nuclear energy. It's based on nuclear weapons and related uranium mining for that and the legacy issues and particularly impacts on tribal communities. I think if you look nowadays and you look at the nuclear fuel cycle, spent fuel is still somewhat uns solved, but that's not posing a direct risk to anyone right now. We can manage that well. Um, but the, the mining side, we actually generally see very well-developed practices, best standards now. So mining does not have the same kind of ESG impacts as it does historically. So I think if you compare that compa uh, across other energy resources, it's on par with the renewables in terms of the environmental impacts. Um, they're a little bit different depending on what resource you're looking at. Um, but one thing is because we have this radiological safety concern in the industry, we actually have the most well-regulated uh, life cycle of any sort of energy product out there. Uh, if you look at wind or solar waste, they don't have any sort of requirements for disposal. We pay very close attention to waste decommissioning in the entire life cycle. So that's really something that's different. I think that a lot of people don't understand about the industry.